What's up everyone? We are back with another taste test video. We are extremely excited today because we're going to be trying different Canadian jerky. Most of it is beef, but there is one that is pork. This is a Canadian company and it is McSweeney's. I think I pronounced that correctly, which is a 100% Canadian company and all the beef and pork is Canadian as well, which I thought was really cool, which is why I wanted to try this out for the channel. Mm -hmm. okay. Now we have different flavors here. We have original teriyaki, hot and sweet. We have cracked black pepper, which is one of my personal favorites. We have the pork one is one that is like a hickory smoked bacon flavor. And then we have habanero because we both absolutely love spicy mm -hmm. things. So for this video, we're going to be ranking them out of 10. I think that's the best way to go just because we absolutely love trying different things but we also love ranking what we try on the channel as well. So up first, we're gonna be trying original here. And this, I'm basically starting with original just because I wanna know quality of the beef, the jerky, um, and flavor wise, and you can't really go wrong with original. It should be just a classic jerky taste. I just chose a small piece. You ready? Yeah. Give it a try. Hmm. It's a different kind of jerky. Mm -hmm. This here, I don't even think it will uh, focus on it. After ordering this, uh, the expiry date does say October 2021. Months away, but uh, it's uh, mm -hmm. the white is fuzzy on it. Yeah, I think I'm done with original. I was really looking forward to this, and then after getting that... Yeah, that's pretty gross. I think it's going to be a bad experience today. So original, <laughs> for me thinking that it's mold, I'm going to give it a 0 out of 10. Yeah, me too, honestly. Now seeing that, and also the taste, it wasn't... Taste-wise uh, was gross. Uh, it just tasted like good. unflavored beef jerky. Yeah. Um... I thought it was salt pockets at first because mine was very grainy at first and I had a little bit of white on it. After I dug in and grabbed the second piece, I'm like, it's fuzzy, it's white. Yeah. I don't know. We're gonna try mm -hmm. another one here. Um, I think I'm gonna go to my personal favorite teriyaki. So here we go, the teriyaki. It looks 100% normal inside, look at that. Yeah, looks a lot better. You would wanna Smells try better it. too. But the jerky looks a lot better. It looks like mm -hmm. actual jerky. Smells like teriyaki. You ready to yeah, give this a try? Smells good. Let's see. A lot better. Yeah, the Quality. consistency of it. Mm -hmm. A lot better. Quality of the beef is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a little chewy, but also melts in the mouth. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it. Makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, not too salty, but the teriyaki flavor is pretty good in it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Given the last one was a 0 out of 10, <laughs> this one right here is a 6 out of 10 for me. Yeah, let's say 6 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. Um, I just hope all of them, quality-wise, is better moving forward. Next up is Hot and Sweets. Ooh, that has a nice scent to it. Yeah, it smells You can kind of pick yours here. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's notable to mention there is no white mm. in this at all. No. So... Pieces are a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. and it is darker. It smells so good. You ready to give it a try? Mm hmm. Mm. Softer than the uh, last two. Mm hmm. Quality of the meat is improving. Yeah, it's I'm, pretty good. It's good. Yeah. I'm just not getting any heat. I get a, um, I get a, like a tiny bit, but not much. Maybe. I had to give this one. I'm judging it on the what the flavor is supposed to be and what I'm experiencing. I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. I was gonna go lower, but I think four out of ten is really reasonable. I like a five. Five. Mm -hmm. Doable. It's more of a, a, a after taste of the heat. Like yeah. I feel the heat in my chest, but the flavor, like tasting it, didn't really taste any of it. Honestly, we're gonna move on to the next one here, which is the cracked black pepper. Let's give this one a try. Wow, that smells amazing. Wow, well, yeah. Yeah, just a classic black pepper, uh, cracked black pepper smell, so hmm. I'm just gonna grab a piece here. Wow, this is gonna be good. You ready? Yeah, it smells really good. Salty. 
The consistency is a lot different than the other ones. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's because it was, uh, I don't know, age different. Tastes like it. It's like um, crunchy almost. A little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. But like good. Tastes, tastes good. Hmm. Definitely higher than teriyaki. Yeah, I think so too. I'd say seven. Seven? Mm -hmm. I'm going to rank this an eight because I really like it. The flavor's better and the flavor lasts in your mouth after. Mm -hmm. So I really like this. This one's the best one in my opinion so far. Absolutely love it. Next up is one that's whenever we're down the jerky aisle in the grocery store, we <laughs> sometimes get for ourselves as a snack. Uh, most of the time that's because we're hungry while we're shopping, but either way, this is pork jerky, hickory, smoked bacon is the next one. And uh, I'm hoping that it's gonna be really good. Wow, it smells different. Um, really smells hickory. Smells and looks different. Yeah, now I'm used to whenever you get uh, I don't bacon jerky that it looks like bacon. Really doesn't. This is very it's transparent. Some parts are more transparent than others. Yeah, very thin. Yeah. Very thin, yeah. Ready? Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Doesn't taste like bacon to me. Does. It's like hickory, but yeah, I really get the hickory flavor. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't get like any saltiness from it though, which is what I expect in bacon. I'm gonna try a bigger piece, it's a lot more transparent. Of course, it's not gonna focus here uh, than what we tried, it's thinner cut, tougher. Definitely taste the hickory though. Mm -hmm. It's like Mainly what I taste. Hmm. I kind of like it. It's different. I do too. It's not like the bacon jerk we try. Mm hmm Normally it looks like actual bacon, but I think it's maple, the one we like. Maple, yeah. Personally, I think I'm going to rank this a 5 out of 10. It's good, mm -hmm. but not my favorite. What do you think? I'd say a 6. 6, six out of 10. All right, still in the middle, mm -hmm. not the worst thing we've tried today by far, but we have one left, the habanero. Let's give it a try. So here we go, we have the habanero one open. It smells a little spicy. Mm -hmm. It's called a fiery habanero actually, so grab your piece first. I think this is gonna be good. We like heat uh, in any of our snacks. It's a thicker cut than uh, mm -hmm. some of the previous ones. Ooh, I grabbed a thin one here. <laughs> I'm just gonna try it. Ready? Sure. Immediate, almost immediate. Mm -hmm. Right on the tongue. Definitely spicy. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's good though. Mm hmm. It's, uh, for most people, I would say that might be too hot. I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's good. This has the best flavor though. Really? That, well, the pepper one, the cracked pepper one is really good, but this one has the most. Flavor, yeah, the most taste. flavor in it, yeah. You taste it so long after because your tongue's on fire. Mm -hmm. um, it's really good. Hmm, this one's gonna be tough. <laughs> right now, cracked pepper, I think, is our favorite. Yeah. Um, that we ranked. And then from there goes teriyaki and then all the other ones. This one here, it's kind of too much heat for me. Like, it's good, mm -hmm. and I would buy it, and I enjoy it. But the cracked black pepper is like an amazing ongoing flavor that is there, but not too much. Like I haven't had a piece and haven't been eating it for like a minute now. My mouth's still burning. Yeah, my mouth's still on fire. <laughs> I would rank it, I'm not gonna rank this the highest one. I'm gonna rank it seven out of 10. This one's second place for me. What do you think? Um, I'd say I'd tie it with the yeah, pepper, yeah. I so like it's it. a tie with you, all right. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say both the fiery habanero and the black crank pepper have gotten basically tied for first place for this. Now, we did also get this original pepperoni, but we're gonna be saving that for ourselves. It was more focused on a jerky taste test video and we absolutely loved these for the most part, but we still have the first one, which was moldy. 
And that to me is just terrible that you would send somebody a moldy product. Now, whether or not they realize they did it, we still received a product that was moldy. So I'm gonna at least write to them just to let them know what we received. I honestly can't remember if this is a company that I emailed saying we we're gonna be doing it for a YouTube video or not, but I am going to let them know that we did receive something that was really low quality and moldy. Mm -hmm. And the only reason we ordered um, original as opposed to ordering another different flavor is we wanted kind of like control. It wasn't even that good of original. And then as we dug deeper in the bag, we realized it's not uh, salt pockets on the jerky. It's literally fuzzy white mold. So yeah, it was pretty, hard pass. Pretty gross, yeah. yeah. Once we found that out, I expected all the rest to not be good. But the rest was amazing in my opinion. Love the teriyaki, love the black cracked pepper. Definitely, even though we did get a moldy pack, I definitely would recommend them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna be doing some more taste tests in the future. We still have that hot sauce challenge that we're gonna be doing, along with other things throughout the year, and a lot more new things coming to the channel very, very soon. If you guys wanna see more videos from me and Ashley here, let us know down in the comments below if there's anything else you wanna see us do. And we'll leave this here. See you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.